What's up you all? This is Hussein Nasser from iGeometry. Uh, today we are bringing you a special episode. Uh, hopefully this will be in a separated playlist, maybe, but if uh, while I am while I was doing the .NET programming with Arc objects, I I found that little uh, uh, tips and little information can be extracted into separated videos, and talk, we can talk about it in a different topics like uh, uh, recycling, for instance. So in this episode, we'll talk about recycling. We can talk about so many different things that you guys uh, may even ask that doesn't really pour into the uh, content or the flow of the uh, previous episodes so we'll separate it and extract it into a different uh, video and we'll talk about it separately so this is like the first video that you can actually watch without any prerequisite you can you can just know you you want to know what is a recycling cursor so this episode we will talk about recycling what does recycling means and and recycling we are meaning we are referring to ESRI arc objects feature cursor recycling so it's a specific niche topic for GIS folks who are working with arc object so you might you might you might notice that while you are programming you you query a feature class for features and basically a feature class returns a cursor a cursor is think of a cursor as a record set it will loop through your uh, results of query so uh, yes yeah, so I gives you this option well you know what let's just open our visual uh, studio I'm gonna show you this well we have a project here called best Rents. you can go back to the playlist of uh, .NET programming with our object you can find all the source code there uh, so for instance when you query the feature class using the search button search method you will need to specify a query filter and there is another property there that's really annoying it's called recycling and it says returns an object cursor that can be fetched used to fetch feature objects selected by the specified query so what does they say about recycling not so much right it says represent a boolean value that fails anyway so there's no much details about this so I'm gonna explain this for you guys so what does the uh, recycling mean and when why why do I need when do I need to recycle my cursor and when I shouldn't recycle my cursor so first of all to explain that I need just to open uh, paint here so let's assume this okay let's assume this is your returned results all right so you have some results here let's say this is your what is this so we have some records here right let's make this transparent so let us let's assume this is my returned query all right what do I'm doing okay so control CV all right there you go this is this will be enough all right so this is my returned query so we will call this this option is no recycling recycling okay so what happens when I don't recycle so this is my cursor this is my return uh, record set that return let's say I queried uh, my feature class and I returned these only these features are returned so to loop to traverse through your features okay 
What am I doing? No, not this one. This one. Right? To traverse, let's make it right actually. Right? So traver to traverse through your feature cursors, uh, ArcGIS or Arc Object requires to go to that particular record and creates an object and a feature from that record. No, creating a feature is a, an expensive uh, operation. So creating a feature requires to uh, retrieve these all these fields. Uh, depends on your properties, of course, of the query filter. So it will, it will need to construct this heavy object called feature, the geometry, how, how all this is created. So this little uh, operation, right, of object creation takes needs uh, needs a lot of time to be created by a lot relatively a lot of time so so once the feature cursor here points to the first one when you say next feature okay when i am not using recycling what will happen is that a dedicated location will be created for the feature so Let's, let's make it in red. So the moment I traverse on the first one, this feature will be created and saved here. So let's call this feature, right? Feature one. So when I go to the next one, the moment I go to the next record, Another feature is created and another memory slot is assigned to it as well. So this will be feature two. Okay? And so on. So you can imagine the the process, right? So this is feature two. Feature two, feature two, feature three, right? So this is feature two. Let's make this opaque. This is feature three. And you get the idea, right? You get the idea. So just tick, 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 tick. So what's, wh why is this good and why is it bad? So whatever the reason is. So when you create, when you loop this, I ArcMap needs to first look, locate a feature, locate a memory in the heap in the RAM and then create that feature and then uh, uh, create a separated uh, slot for it so the moment you create this and copy this process takes time but the good the, so that's the bad like aspects from from this but the good point from this is you can access all these features even after your uh, cursor is exhausted. So what does this mean? So I'll be, let's, uh, uh, when I'm, I'm, I'm getting my feature here, so I'll be seeing uh, then p feature as I feature equal p feature cursor dot next. So this will move me to the next feature, correct? Which is this one. When I do p feature equal p feature cursor dot next again, this will move me to the next feature even. So this will literally allow me to save these features. So if I want to do like p feature two as I feature, save it in another object, and p feature three as I feature, save it in another object, I can do this if I am not using recycling. Why? Because feature one will be pointing to this memory slot, feature two will be pointing to this, and feature three will be pointing to this, and so on. So you get the idea. So that's what I get. Some, and sometimes you need to do this. You, you, you will need to have the objects to refer to after the feature cursor exhausted. So after some time, feature cursor that next feature will return nothing. So this is when your feature cursor is exhausted. That's why we do the loop here, if you remember. We are doing a loop 
here and until it's nothing that means our feature cursor is done and by the way there is no reset in feature cursor you cannot do uh, you cannot loop back into feature cursor so where, where did I go again where is my code so anyway so you cannot loop back to your feature cursor that's that's one one way to put it yani. so feature cursor once you exhausted it you cannot go back and loop through it that's why you, if you need those features as a separated objects okay because you want to do something with them later then you use non recycling so that's non recycling so when do i need recycling them well recycling is exactly you might have guessed it recycling is works kind of similar but what i did yeah. right so so how how does recycling do so this is my re re record set here one two three i have three records and my feature cursor is pointing it's made red the first one when i say next feature an object will be created and this feature will be saved into this memory slot all right the moment i go to the next location what will happen this will get cancelled this will get erased and it will be replaced by a new one which is the one you just pointed to you get the idea so this will be feature 2 now and so on so what's the advantage of this it is super fast so if you are looping for some uh, uh, you want to calculate some values from all these features or all these records that you are looping through you can use recycling because it says okay I don't I'm, I don't care about this feature I just want to use it while I am in the loop itself so once I finish my loop it's okay you can you can throw it I, I don't need it anymore so here if you are using recycling if this is true then p feature 1 and p feature 2 and p feature 3 are the same so that's that's the uh, the catch here so you need to know when you will use the recycling objects here and in fact in our best trends application, we can turn everything into recycling. And that's that's actually good. We can speed up things, but we'll not notice the difference because, because it is a very small data set anyway. It's like 20 or 30 features. So you will not notice the difference. But if you timed it, you can actually see a big difference here. So that's the difference between recycling and non-recycling. So, in summary, the safest way is to not use recycling. If you are afraid something will go wrong or break, just make this as false. You'll always hide. You'll, you'll, you'll be always safe. But, I'm drinking a very nice coffee here it's called Nespresso. And there's a variation, new variation. It's called Apple Crump. They, the, they released it only for Christmas, and it's really good. I didn't like the hazelnut though. There's an, another variation called hazelnut. I didn't like it much. But yeah, okay. Back, back to topic. I'm sorry. I'm just. This is so good. All right. So, as we, as I was saying, so. When you don't use recycling, you'll be always safe because you will have a separated and dedicated memory object for you and you can use it all the time. 
Like for example, you want to loop and you want to add each feature into a list and then you want to interact with that list and get the feature back. You can actually save the feature object inside that, that uh, uh, list itself and you can refer to it. But if you are using recycling, the moment this loop, you call the next feature, the old one, the old one is replaced. That's, that allows ESRI or ArcGIS or ArcObject allows to rapidly move through all this cursor and loop through it very fast. So that's the, basically the difference between recycling and recycling. So I'm going to put this link for you guys in the .NET programming with ArcObjects just to refer to you. This is an optional part. You don't have to do this. I'm not going to save this project. I'm not going to upload it. I didn't change anything, obviously. So stay awesome, stay tuned, and let me know if you need anything, guys. All right? Take care. Goodbye.